made it through kind of the scary part of having a baby and our baby was healthy and our baby was happy and growing. Um, And then all of a sudden we might lose her and we barely had her. So that was really hard. A former Williston daycare provider is set to go to trial next month, accused of severely injuring a two-month-old child in her home last November. 22-year-old Corey Gardner is charged with felony child abuse after police say she caused the baby a fractured skull, hemorrhages in both eyes, a broken arm, spinal strains, and injuries to her brain. Baby Finley was life flighted to Bismarck and then again to Sioux Falls, where she spent almost a month in the critical care unit. But despite doctors' grim predictions, baby Finley is now defying the odds. Valley News team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with the family and has more on a miraculous story you'll only see here on Valley News Live. Ashley Campion's two-month-old daughter had only been going to the home daycare of Corey Gardner for about three weeks when she picked her up November 6th. She was really unresponsive. She wouldn't open her eyes. Um, She was letting her arms and legs hang limp. Ashley and her husband rushed to a Williston hospital where doctors immediately started life-saving measures. But as seizures overtook baby Finley, she was soon flown to a Bismarck hospital. And that's when we started learning how severe Finley's injuries were and how scary they were. Finding a fractured skull, Finley was flown again, this time to Sanford Children's Hospital in Sioux Falls. We didn't know if her life would, if they would be able to save her life. It was eerie because you're sitting on an ICU unit where little babies are crying and, and calling out for their family members. And then you walked into Finley's room and it was silent. It was there doctors also found a broken arm, hemorrhaging of both eyes, spinal strains and injuries to Finley's brain, all determined to be non-accidental. At the time, it was said that she may not see, may not hear may not walk, may not talk. There was really a lot of unknowns about what she would do at that point. It got very difficult to be positive because things looked grimmer and grimmer every day and there weren't the signs of progress that we told were told there would be and more intense and invasive procedures were having to happen to this helpless little girl. After Sioux Falls police cleared the Campions of any wrongdoing, the finger was soon pointed at Finley's unlicensed daycare provider, a woman the family says they didn't have any problems with before. How did, what did I miss? How did this happen to us? Um, there's a lot of guilt, a lot of blame that you're trying to deal with at that time, and so it was really difficult. And after weeks of heavy doses of pain medication and fluid drained from her brain, Finley seemed to finally be making progress. The Campions later moved to Fargo to be close to Finley's care team and continue to work weekly with her PT, OT and speech therapist. She has is hitting milestones that no one really thought she would hit and it's unbelievable. She's ahead of developmental trajectory which just like flashes to me miracle. This is a miracle. A miracle to be celebrated which is exactly what one local organization has planned for Finley and her family just days before her first birthday. It takes me back that people want to take time out of their schedule and put so much intention and energy into helping a little girl and her family. And I think that's just so representative of the community we have in Fargo and the kindness and the goodness of the people around us. We are at a one-year birthday and Finley's going to be running around in a tutu dress and being a little ball of fire honoring that little ball of fire who refused to stop fighting in Fargo Bailey Hurley Valley News Live (laughs) Finley's fundraiser goes from 6 p.m. to 9 on August 8th at the Avalon Events Center with live music raffle prizes and food and cocktails to enjoy for information on where to buy tickets or where you can donate to the family head on over to our website and click on this story